put down love stories like Cast Away or Arrow where you're stranded on a deserted island with nothing else like your clothes on and you need to fight for survival, you need to adapt skills and maybe in the end make it back to civilization. And this is exactly what I'm going to prompt the Fable AI today. And I prepared the prompt for you again in the GPT playground to play test it. And I will just quickly go through the most important steps because it's basically what is in the first sentence. You are a game engine for a survival on a deserted island. This is basically all you need. The rest is just some limitations that you cannot do everything and assume everything and how it should start. Like it should start with an immersive scenario with two creative options for character names, present difficulty options, stuff like this. So let's go, let's run this. And I hope that we can make it on this island and maybe make it back to civilization. You wake up on a deserted island with no memory of how you got there. The sun is setting and you're surrounded by dense jungle. All right, so we're already on the island and I choose an oil painting style because I think this is more romantic, more natural looking than the 3D animations. Let's see what we can do as our first choices. Yeah, we, we will have to choose our name first. We will go as Alex Chen and let's see what my options are. You're Alex Chen, stranded on a deserted island. You need to decide how challenging your survival journey will be? Right, we prompted it the second question is the challenge that we want to play through and of course we want it to be harsh. Otherwise you wouldn't watch this video, right? You would just say go next. You're exhausted, hungry and thirsty. The sun is setting and you need to find shelter and food before nightfall. You spot a cluster of palm trees nearby but you'll need to act fast. Oh, it starts really difficult already. We're exhausted, hungry, thirsty and the sun is setting. No shelter, no food, nothing to to drink. So our first job should be to find something to drink. I think that's the most important. Yes, there are some palm leaves and we could go for some shelter, but first let's go for something to drink. So look for a fresh water source. You search for signs of water, following a narrow path that winds through the dense underbrush. You push aside a thick curtain of vines and find yourself standing at the edge of a narrow stream. Awesome. That was easy enough, I'd say, but we are exhausted. We need to drink fast and clean ourselves a bit and get ready for our night. It's late. Drink up and look for a shelter or shelter material. With your thirst quenched, you focus on finding shelter. You scan your surroundings, looking for materials to build a shelter. Okay, I don't think that we have the time for natural shelter, like a cave. So I'd say gather palm leaves, wines, and try to build something to keep me warm or the night. Nothing big. You gather palm fronds and vines trying to build a simple lean-to shelter. The structure is fragile, but it's better than sleeping under the open sky. Nice. So our shelter looks awesome and night already approached. So let's see if we can have a good night's sleep and start over on the next day. And I don't think we should light a fire or something. We should just sleep because it said we are tired. Just go to sleep in the lean-to shelter. <sighs> As you drift off to sleep, the sky darkens and a loud rumble of thunder shakes the air. A torrential downpour ensues, putting your makeshift shelter to the test. Oof, okay, so you see that the hard difficulty already proves to be really hard. It's the first night and we cannot get a real good sleep. Well, let's see what we can do. We can abandon the shelter and seek a better location. That is just interesting. I think, what will Alex do if he just goes out in the middle of the night to look for a better location? Are we actually going to find something? I will just put this in and no custom. You're getting soaked to the bone. You need to find a new shelter and fast. You spot a cluster of trees up ahead. Their branches tangled together in a way that might provide some protection from the storm. So now we're running and as expected, this wasn't the best idea, I guess. <laughs> just looking at a natural shelter between some branches of some trees. I think that's good enough. Run towards branches and sit below back whether they give enough color. You dash towards the cluster of trees and sit below. The rain pounds against your back, but the branches do offer some respite from the wind. Oh, okay, so a little bit of help by the branches. The image doesn't really depict the branches above us, but I, I guess it's good enough. We're just sitting there, somehow waiting for the rain to disappear. Uh, I hope that it's warm rain, otherwise we would freeze, I guess. Yeah, this has been 
in our first part of the journey, getting some water and trying to survive the first night. It's a hell of a journey. I hope that you stay tuned for part two, three and four maybe. Let's see if we can make it back to civilization. This will also be one of our series that we will post on the channel on a regular basis. I hope that you follow. I hope that you subscribe and like. Bye bye. See you next time.